Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And I uploaded a video on November 1, 2016, titled RV Kitchen Appliances and Power Sources. And this is an update and clarification to that video. And in that video, I was talking about which kitchen appliances you can run just off of your RV's batteries and which ones require shore power or generator to operate, which is high amp appliances such as a toaster oven or a pizza oven like this one, a toaster, an iced tea maker or a coffee maker, a popcorn popper, or a electric cooktop hot plate. However, in that video, I did not mention the value of solar power. If you have solar panels, it adds a lot to what you can do in operating high amp appliances like those I just mentioned. Now, right now, I am not plugged in the shore power at all. And you can see here on this panel that right now that says 13 ADC that is the net amps from the batteries so right now as you can see here this is my solar panel and it shows that my solar panels are bringing in 29.6 amps and then this says 13. The 13 is in net amps. So as I'm bringing in almost 30 amps from the solar, right now my refrigerator compressor is going and I'm using other things in the motorhome that, to, that 30 amps is actually only about 13 amps when you consider all the power that I'm using. Now about the high amp appliances. Right now I'm going to turn on my pizza oven, which is a very high amp appliance. And you can see that 13, suddenly the plus 13 goes to a minus 80 and it'll work itself up to about minus 100 or so. Now, if I did, if it was nighttime and I did not obviously have anything coming in from the solar panels, running strictly off of what I have on batteries, when I turn on that pizza oven, that net amps minus is going to quickly go to minus 160 encroaching on minus 170 and minus 170 is about the furthest you can go without risking tripping the breakers it's already up to minus 100 and almost 110 because 170 is about the total amps that the batteries can put out and by the way that is DC amps not AC amps DC amps are 10 times as, as much so actually 17 or minus 170 is really 17 amps but because I am having turning that off because I am having it's 30 amps coming in from the solar panels. I can now use my high amp appliances without a problem. See so here it is, plus 16. I turn that pizza oven back on. So the benefit of solar power is that it greatly increases the amperage you can use because the solar panels the power that's coming in from it 
not only is charging the batteries, but it's also feeding the whole electrical system. So what goes into the batteries is what's left over after consuming whatever amperage that the RV is using at the time. So the purpose of this video is to let you know that having solar panels makes a huge difference not only to keep your batteries charged up but to give you the amperage to use these high amp appliances and again these high amp appliances are really anything that has a heating element heating elements take a whole lot of amps and that also includes a microwave oven it takes a huge number of amps as well to run the microwave oven. So just wanted to let you know about that. And if you have an RV that you use a considerable amount of time, especially boondocking, someplace where you're not going to be able to plug in the outside electricity, and you don't want to run your generator. Now, of course, if you're running your generator, then that is almost the same as being plugged into outside electricity shore power which is okay run your generator once in a while but you don't want to be doing that a whole lot each day or it uh, it's I don't think it would really wear down your generator much but it does consume a good amount of fuel so good luck with your RV travels and in your RV or motorhome, you really want to do some experimenting with these power levels. It's going to be a little different in different motorhomes or RVs. So you have to do a little experimenting as to what you can use and what you can't use when you're running just off batteries at night versus during the day if you have a lot of solar power, power coming in. Good day, folks.